It's open fight night, can I live on Spike TV or about to hit the LA's? Oh, get the first call out of the night, Jeff Hardy or Bobby Wood is up to the fans to decide. But it has been stated that Jeff Hardy said that he will call out Bobby Wood if he's the first to make a challenge. But we also know that uh, the Brown for Gold series is still in effect and will we get to see the first clips of Sting's new made of that mafia and what will the Aces and Aces have in store if we do that's coming up next Impact Wrestling about to go live on Spike TV let's get started Impact Wrestling kicks off with 10 of the 12 super 10 of the 12 wrestlers uh, in the Battle for Glory series already in the ring Hulk Hogan the general manager of Impact uh, comes onto the stage and introduces the first two winners of the Balfour Glory series Bobby Wood, the winner of the 2011 BFG series and Jeff Hardy, the 2012 winner uh, uh, he then says that the winner of the poll that started last week on ImpactWrestling.com will uh, choose his first opponent tonight uh, in the uh, Open Fight Night Challenge. Uh, Predictably, it's uh, the winner is Jeff Hardy. Of the poll. Jeff Hardy gets the microphone, and before he can say anything, Austin Aries and Christopher Daniels both make awesome uh, promos saying that Jeff Hardy doesn't want to fight them tonight, and they understand that. But Jeff decides that he's not going to choose either of anybody else except the man he challenged last week, Bobby Wood. That's why right, Bobby Wood and Jeff Hardy tonight possibly oh well come tonight. Bobby Wood and Jeff Hardy are up next uh, in the first BFC, BFG uh, challenge match. Looks like it's going to be good but right before that, right after that uh, announcement uh, it breaks down into a shoving match between Wood and Hardy, which turns into an all-out ball with all 10 men, or all 12 men, in the BFG, BFG series. But we have to wonder who's going to uh, challenge who tonight. Will we see any anybody step up and move to the next level by challenging someone? someone? And we did see Sting right before the uh, kick off of the show. They showed Sting coming in to the arena. Not in his, not in his paint, not in his uh, wiggle, wiggle dial, but wearing his suit. Wearing his suit. Oh, uh, the uh, main event mafia. Will he uh, choose his first member or will he choose the entire team tonight? The uh, main event mafia, will they return tonight? We still have to wait and see, but Impact Wrestling is off and running. Let's get back to it. I spoke a little too soon as uh, Austin Aries and Bobby... Oh, it's uh, AJ Styles and Bobby Wood is... Uh, I guess it's uh, going to be on main event tonight. But uh, the first match of the night, uh, Anderson came out to make the first open challenge. And he challenges... Uh, uh, Joseph Park to a match, believing it'll be an easy, uh, easy win. But it's not as, but it's not as easy as he thought it would be. Uh, it was like a couple of times Joseph was actually gonna win until Doc of the Aces and Eights comes out and distracts the referee, and Joseph Park allowing the uh, quick roll up, which Joseph gets out of. But uh, Doc, he was. But as uh, Joseph was going for his closing or, or, closing argument finisher, his splash of the middle uh, rope, so, uh, Doc hits him from behind, setting up the mic check from Anderson for the one, two, three. But coming up next, we see all the rest of the Bound for Glory series uh, competitors Wait, uh, waiting in the back. Someone will be called out from the Bound for Glory series. No idea who it's gonna be, but we also know that tonight, uh, 
the knockout executive uh, Hulk Hogan will give a state of the knockout uh, division address plus uh, the uh, uh, tag team cha all the champions will be in action I'm guessing the tag team champions Cowboy James Storm and Gunner the X Division champion Saban and uh, the world champion Bully Lee are scheduled to appear but the main part about it, the main point of tonight is the Battle for series. Let's see how it goes. Uh, uh, Anderson now has uh, seven points. He's in the lead now because he's the only one who's actually had a match. But let's see how it turns out. See you in a couple of minutes. Mm. Jay Bradley's in the lead in the ring. He calls out Mr. A Double, Austin Aries. Uh, for a Bound for Glory series match. Uh, it looks all good. It looks like a close match until Austin Aries hits the running drop kick in the corner, setting up the Brain Buster for the win. Uh, Austin Aries on seven points in the BFC, BFG series, just as uh, Anderson did earlier. Uh, <coughs> we didn't go backstage for the cameras pick up. Uh, pick up Sting backstage walking to the ring. He says tonight the Mafia will uh, rise. Uh, he said he told the world that the Mafia would rise and tonight it grows. What does that mean? I have no idea. Maybe a new a new quick quick in the Mafia. Uh, it should be interesting. But let's get back to the show. We come back to Impact Wrestling and we see the Aces and Aces in our clubhouse uh, uh, talking about how uh, Doc helped out Anderson during his match, but they get, uh, they also Anderson and Doc are uh, arguing over who will be the new VP since D O has been uh, exiled from the group. Uh, the president Lee comes in and says that. That will be, that decision will be, uh, decided by a group voting sometime later. But tonight, the main objective is his wife, Bork Hogan. Uh, what do they have in store for? Uh, the, the knockout executive, I have no idea. But we didn't go to the wing. Well, Hernandez calls out, uh, uh, Christopher Daniels for a BFG series match. Uh, uh, Hernandez looks like he's in control until he goes for a German suplex. Uh, and, uh, Daniels, uh, positions the referee in front of him and, uh, mule kicks, uh, Hernandez into the, in the clutch, setting up for the BME, best moonsault ever. For the one, two, three. Uh, Daniels gets seven points. Moving forward into the Pound for Glory series. But, uh, we still got more action to come. Let's get back to Impact Wrestling. <clears throat> I forgot to mention before that, uh, before the last match, uh, we saw staying backstage, uh, shaking hands with an unknown person. He couldn't see his see his face or who he was, but we did see his hand shake that of the icon Sting, cementing his possible inclu inclusion into the new main event mafia. Who's it gonna be? I'm not sure who it is. But then we moved to the wing. But uh, after a commercial, we moved to the wing. Well, uh, uh, Kazalian is in. And, uh, uh, inside, he makes a challenge to, uh, Magnus for a BFG, BFG series match. Uh, Kazalian, I thought was gonna win, but it turns out Magnus gets the first, uh, 10 points. Mm. 10 point victory in the Balfour Glory series. By any, by locking in the Texas, uh, Texas Cloverleaf 
Odd Kazali and unfortunately going to tap out. <laughs> uh, we didn't go backstage to oh, go get on the phone with somebody. I'm not sure what he was talking about, but he once he hangs up, we see Boy Wade coming in from behind with the hammer that Ogan had last week. Uh, last time, yeah, last week. Um, we had, uh, Hogan hangs up the phone and turns around and grabs Bully and pushes him against the wall. And, uh, for Hogan, I mean, Hogan tells Bully that he's done with, uh, uh, his, uh, daughter book. But Bully says that, uh, uh, how can they be done when, why do you, uh, I guess, Hogan why he thinks Book stopped him last week when he was going to hit Bully with that hammer. Hammer. And then walks away. What's Hogan going to do about his daughter and Bully still being married? We'll have to wait down the road for that one. But coming up next, uh, Book. Book Hogan addresses the knockouts division. Uh, what does she have in store for the women of TNA wrestling? Let's find out. Pork Hogan comes out for her state of the knock knockouts address. She, uh, they finally address the fact that, uh, Eric Young, Eric Young and ODB are still knockouts tag team champions for what seems like an eternity. Uh, Pork finally has handles that by, uh, official, officially stripping, uh, Eric Young and ODB as, as uh, of the titles. Eric Young, uh, has a, a funny segment doing this where he, uh, offic officially admits that he's officially not a woman. <laughs> and, uh, uh, it was hilarious to me to watch Eric Young, but, uh, <clears throat> uh, we officially do not have knockouts champions, knockouts tag team champions at the moment. I'm not sure if they're gonna crown new champions or if it's just gonna go away. But... Um, we then go to, uh, we, uh, she then moves on to talk about the next Knockouts World Title match. And she announces that it will happen in Las Vegas. I don't know if that's next week show or if that's the week after, but it will be, uh, Mickey James defending the title against, uh, Felix Sky. In a official rematch, Gail Kim then interrupts to uh, ask uh, about a title match for herself. And Book uh, announces that the uh, same show on that same night it will be a uh, ladder match between Gail Kim and uh, Till and Terrell for, a, for the next title match. At the for the knockouts championship, which should be good. The last woman's daddy match that the last pay per view was phenomenal. I'm looking for a, but a great ladder match. But uh, coming up next, the continuation of the BFG series with uh, mm -hmm. uh Samoa Joe one on one with AJ Styles. That should be an outstanding match. Uh, but. First, we see backstage where Hogan is asking his daughter, Book, to leave the arena for now uh, to keep her safe from the Aces and Eights. Uh, Book, uh, uh, Book, uh, understandably does not want to leave. Does not want to leave. He wants to continue to do a job, but she goes along with what her dad asks. And she does leave the building. But we still got that match, like I said, AJ Styles versus the most the Samoa submission machine, uh, Samoa Joe. Look, I'm looking for an outstanding match, but we just might get one. See you in a couple of